Nandi was light on top of me. If I sit down next to her, she'll come over and she lies so strategically that her head lands on my lap. And I love it. I know she got a giant head, but it's amazing. It's the best thing to be a rhino's pillow. The best rhino in the world. Oh, sorry. One of the best. They're such special animals. <laughs> The different personalities that they have, they make you laugh all the time. <laughs> Some of them are so naughty. What are you doing? A lot of the rhinos actually talk back to you. They have like a huff. Coming! <laughs> they come in and ask for belly rubs. They'll be standing and then the next thing they roll over. It's so cute. Just had a call to pick up a new orphan rhino. When we pick them up, they don't know what's happening and they've lost their mom. We blindfold them and we put earplugs in because that reduces their stress. The rhinos need a lot of our help because approaching has just skyrocketed. So much has been put on rhino horn and how valuable it is. When a rhino horn is made of keratin, which is the same as your hair and your fingernail, it's sad how it's destroying the rhino population. Oh, it's a mess. Jamila, she was very little when she arrived at the orphanage. The poachers actually hit her with a machete. We think that she was trying to protect her mom. It's a lot of spending time with them to gain their trust, to get them to calm down a bit. Because she was so small, she stayed with humans a lot. So, me and my cat decided that he would join in on the rhino babysitting. If they were sleeping in the room, Mewi would sleep there. If we went on a walk, he'd come with on a walk. <laughs> Mewi, come on! I think Jamila really liked the company. They were very cute together. To see a cat and a rhino together, I nearly died. <laughs> the goal of the orphanage is to release all the rhinos back into a very protected area. When the rhinos arrive, they get a lot of human contact. Were you sleeping in there? Is it comfortable? They get milk every few hours. It's delicious. And then they get weaned at 16 months. They'll start exploring the bush on their own. Just to let them be rhinos and run around and play in a mud wallow. And then it's at about three years old that they're ready to be released to a more control game reserve and they have hectic security around them all the time. It's good to know that the ones we have released are very safe. Those few years that you spent with them was all for something and it was all worth something.